up, guys? Um, I'm going to be talking to you about uh, the life <coughs> and career of Curtis Martin and maybe some things y'all actually didn't know about him. But um, I'm going to start off with a, a statement and say that uh, the accomplishments of Curtis Martin on the field is something that is going to be hard for any future starter to beat. But it was not only his accomplishments on the field that makes this man a legend that is worthy to be discipled after. For there are not many that would do the same as Curtis Martin did, and that is he tried to reshape the world through his love for football. And I'll, I'll uh, go through why I said his love for football. Curtis Martin was born on uh, May 1st, 1973, and his birthplace was in the settled town of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He was, um, he then attended high school at Taylor Allardyce High School, and his talents were recognized by the University of Pittsburgh, and that's where he decided to go to college. Um, in 1995, uh, he, he was eligible to go to the draft, and he got a phone call from Bill Parcells, and he was he asked him, he said, would you like to be a member of the New England Patriots? And Curtis Martin was like, sure. And the reason why he was like, sure, is because Curtis Martin really didn't have a love for football. He wanted to reshape the world through charities and other things, but he knew that the only way that he was going to be able to do this was to have the funds through the NFL, which everyone knows the NFL pays excruciatingly well. So um, throughout his rookie year with the Patriots, he actually got the Rookie of the Year award in 1995. And he started off his th first three seasons with 1,000 yards rushing with the Patriots. Then in 1998, he got signed by you know, the New York Jets, and uh, I am a huge Jets fan, so I was very excited to have a man like Curtis Martin come into the picture. Um, he, he actually decided to sign with the Jets because uh, Bill Parcells was the coach for the New York Jets. Uh, he actually had switched from the Patriots to the Jets. And uh, Curtis Martin's uh, success with the Jets was he had seven years of a thousand yards rushing with the Jets as well. And in this, he accomplished a feat that only Barry Sanders had accomplished and that to start his career off with 10, 10 straight seasons of a thousand yards rushing. But now I'm gonna go into the things that he did off the field, which would be through his charities. For uh, many times, he, he really, he loved to try and help out the homeless. He really wanted to make sure that they had some sort of temporary home and he actually, um, he actually wound up staying with a guy for about three hours outside and below freezing. It, and, uh, he, he finally convinced the guy to go into a temporary home. And um, I just thought that was a really cool story. I mean, you don't hear many celebrity like NFL players doing that with homeless people. Um, he also uh, tries to help single mothers and um, he also is very big uh, with trying to send doctors to third world countries to uh, help with operations and stuff in other countries. And that is actually a, um, a company called Surgical Group. But uh, the, another, another big thing is that Curtis Martin would always give 12% of his check to charities, to these charities. Which, I, I mean, like I said, you don't hear many celebrities doing that. Um, so I thought that was really, really cool. Um, in 2006, uh, Curtis Martin decided to retire. And uh, the reason why he did so is because he had a knee injury the year before. And they were telling him that if he continued to play and hurt his knee again, that he would probably have to use a cane by the age of um, 38. Um, so um, in conclusion, uh, I would just like to say that uh, Curtis, what made Curtis Martin so great is that yes, he was a success, a, a successful man on the field, but he was also one that lived to change lives for the better.